Take a leisurely stroll through Kenrokuen, one of Japan's three most beautiful gardens. Sip on some tea and enjoy the historic wooden architecture of Higashi Chaya Street. Did I just take a time machine somewhere? Welcome to Kanazawa. The cool thing about Kanazawa is it is this beautiful old city, but it's also got this kind of modern artsy feel to it as well, as embodied by the entrance of the Kanazawa station here. For the most part, I think a train station is a train station, but I have to admit, this is pretty cool. As with all stops on my Japan tour, I have to spin the wheel for a travel challenge. Please don't be wrestle a sumo wrestler. Ride a chicken! Do you know where I can find a very large chicken in Kanazawa? I'm from Tokyo, <laughs> so I wouldn't know. <laughs> I have no idea if there are chickens in these. At this point, I had absolutely no clue how I was going to complete this challenge. But if I just said large chicken in Japanese one more time, I was going to lose it. Let's check out the beautiful city of Kanazawa and all the quaint charms it has to offer. All great historic cities have a palace at the center, and the same is true with Kanazawa. I have spent the last few hours walking around Kanazawa Castle Park. It's one of Japan's top 100 castles. Looking out at that gracefully curved roof of this beautiful castle with the mountains in the background. I mean that right there, that right there is a worldly sight to behold. Kanazawa Castle is pretty nice, but it ain't one of Japan's three most beautiful gardens. So here I am at Kenrokuen Garden. You walk into this place and immediately the most immaculate, beautifully trimmed greenery all around. These shimmering ponds and bridges and lanterns. And then you walk around a little bit more and there's this beautiful, this stunning waterfall. And right in front of it in this pond is this egret, the most beautiful egret I've ever seen in my life, slowly striding through the pond. And this place is just full of otherworldly scenes everywhere you look. It's no wonder this place was in part designed to house a wizard who had the secret to perpetual youth. But if you thought Kenrokuen was awesome, just wait until you check out the Ninja Temple. It's not actually a temple for ninjas, but it's this temple with all these badass hidden passageways and traps that were built to protect the ruling clan here in Kanazawa. Don't want to accidentally set off one of them booby traps. Anyways, I finally discovered how I can ride a chicken. All we need is a trip to the world's best toy store. This is the best I can do. <laughs> this baby chick toy. But I've also got Santa Polar Bear. All I needed now was just some super glue. And now it's riding time. So Kanazawa is famous for its old geisha and samurai districts. And as you can see, I've been riding around them. They are mostly empty and it's the most serene feeling to walk around a historic Japanese old town where the streets are empty. It's, it's different from like anywhere else. Like in China, for example, if I walk around an empty old town, I kind of feel like it's dead, like it's, it's lost its life, but it's different here in Japan. It's like each step you immerse yourself a little more into the place and it brings a little more serenity. It's almost as if you're stepping towards some kind of Zen Buddhist enlightenment. 
Just walking around Kanazawa, you'll find this place is full of spectacular views all over. But then you do a little digging to uncover the culture and the history here. You'll find that that is what makes this place truly amazingly unique. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and I'll see y'all for the next episode. On the next episode of my On the Ground Japan Tour. The spiritual home of Japan, its capital for over a thousand years, and home to over 3,000 shrines and temples. Welcome to Kyoto. <laughs>